Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnuski, and thank you so much for popping by my channel. So I had a question from my friend over at Mobile Video Editing. And in case you guys don't know him, he does a lot of tutorials on LumaFusion as well. He's got a lot of great stuff over there. So if you haven't already, please go check him out. Anyway, he had a question about microphones, and he had two criteria. One, that it can be used with an iPhone or iPad, and two, that it be under 100 bucks. So I do have a really great recommendation, and that's coming up. Okay, so if budget is no option to you and you want the simplest, easiest way to get a microphone into your iPad or iPhone, I would recommend one of the iRigs. They're specifically made for iPhones and iPads, but they're a little expensive. So if you want something that's a little budget friendly, but still has a really great sound, I am going to recommend this guy to you. And this is the Samson Q2U Dynamic Microphone. This is one of the most popular microphones with YouTubers for people that do podcasts, people that are gamers, or just fellow creators doing voiceovers. So there's a few different reasons why this is so popular. Number one is that it's budget friendly. So if you need to get multiple microphones, it's not going to be that huge of an investment. It's $65, at least I paid $65 for it. And this comes with the complete package. You get the microphone, you get a microphone stand, you get the pop filter, and you get two different sets of cables. One is going to be an XLR cable. So if you wanted to use this with an audio mixer, you absolutely could get some great studio quality sound out of this. And it also comes with a USB cable. Now that's the cable that you're going to use if you're using it with an iPad or iPhone. There's only one additional accessory that you're going to need to get this guy to work with your iPhone or iPad, and that's this guy. And this is a lightning to USB 3 camera reader, or I like to call it dongle to dongle. So what you're going to do is take the USB cable that runs out of the microphone and just plug that into your dongle. You plug your dongle into your iPad or iPhone and it's immediately going to recognize that you have a microphone. So if you want to do voiceover work in LumaFusion, this is going to work really great for you. So I actually made a video of me using the microphone with the iPad and I'm gonna go ahead and run that right now for you. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to plug these two guys together. Then all you would do is take this dongle and plug it into your port. Let's go ahead and launch LumaFusion. So now what you want to do is find your video that you want to do the voiceover work in. And I'm just going to go ahead and use any old random video. This is a video of my sister-in-law's dog. It's a hospice dog. They took it in. So to get to the voiceover properties in LumaFusion, see the toolbar down on the bottom? You would choose the plus icon that's right by the scissors. And this is going to bring up a few different options. And the top one is voiceover. So go ahead and click voiceover. And what this is going to do is bring up the audio bar for the voiceover. So if you wanted to begin recording, you would just hit this circle right here and it would give you a countdown. It would say three, two, one, and then it's going to allow you to begin the voiceover process. So let me go ahead and just give a little demonstration sample. Meet Holly. This is our gorgeous dog that is a hospice dog. We took her in, she has leukemia, and she was only supposed to live three months. So we decided to spoil her and give her all of the love that she deserved in her short time left on earth. Then you would hit the circle button again. And this is going to give you an option. You can listen to it by hitting play. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if it's not working because this is plugged in, so let me just go ahead and I'll hit check. That will automatically put it in, but maybe because this is plugged in, it's not allowing me to do it. So I'll unplug it and I'll hit play again. So there you go. That's how you do voiceover work in LumaFusion with a very inexpensive dynamic mic like the Samson Q2U. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it real for you. I did not get the authentic Apple dongle. Now, I 
get, listen, I'm always looking for a sale, girl on a budget, and this was $12. So I think I saved like 20 bucks or something by not getting the authentic Apple dongle, and I wish that I did, because sometimes this doesn't work so perfect. Sometimes I have to plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, and finagle with the cable, and unplug it from the microphone, and like a lot of finagling to get the iPad to recognize that this is a microphone. So if you want something that's quick, easy, no finagling, you should go ahead and invest in the authentic Apple dongle and you won't have a problem. But if you're on a budget and you want the very cheapest alternative and you don't mind finagling for a few seconds, then this is going to work just as well. So the really great thing about dynamic microphones is that they're made to capture the sound that's right in front of the microphone, meaning it's going to cut out a lot of the ambient sounds. So let's say that you want to use this thing mobily and you decided to do a voiceover in the middle of a park and there's dogs barking and cars whizzing by and somebody's using a weed whacker over there. This is really going to help cut out that background noise and just capture your voice because when it comes to a dynamic microphone, you've got to be right on top of it. Like you're your lips should be just a few centimeters away from the head of the microphone so it picks up your voice nice and clearly. So the good thing about dynamic microphones is they're going to give you a very rich sound even if your room is not acoustically treated. So if you hear someone's video or they're a gamer and it sounds like their microphone, like they're talking into a tin can kind of sound, I'm sure you've heard it before. That's because they're using a microphone that's not a dynamic microphone and their room is probably not acoustically treated. So if you don't have a lot of acoustic panels up like I have in the background, I have them scattered all throughout my office. If you have tile floors and wood floors and you don't have a carpet down, this is going to make your voice bounce off all of those hard surfaces, creating that tin can sound. So if you're in a space that's not acoustically treated, the dynamic microphone is going to be the very best option for you. Any dynamic microphone will do. You do not have to get the Samson QTU. So if you're looking something that's a little more budget friendly, go ahead and browse on Amazon. I know they have a lot of different microphones for you to choose from, I think starting at 20 bucks. The only thing that you're going to need is that card reader as well. So can you use any other microphones or do you only have to use dynamics? And the answer is yes, of course. You can use condenser microphones in your iPhone or iPad as well, but now we're cutting back with the mobility because now you're going to need an additional accessory on top of that to get that microphone to work. So another good thing about dynamic microphones is that the majority of them do not require 48 volts of phantom power but the condenser microphones do. So if you want to use a condenser microphone with the iPhone or iPad, now you're going to need another thing. So now you're gonna have a whole string of things, like a whole contraption to get the microphone to work. The accessory that you're going to need to make that to work is something like the Icicle by Blue Microphone. And I actually did a separate video on that accessory. So if you want to check that out, I will link it right up here, or at least I'll try. I've never done that before. So hopefully there'll be a link up here or over here or somewhere. It'll be somewhere, hopefully. So if you want to use the condenser microphone, you're then going to plug an XLR cable into the microphone. That XLR cable is then going to run into the icicle by blue. That is going to generate the 48 volts of phantom power. That's going to come out into a USB cable. You're then going to take that USB cable and plug it into the card reader, which then is going to plug into your iPhone phone or iPad. So yes, technically you could get the condenser microphone to work. But I find the more things that you have hooked up to get your microphone to work, it seems like that's going to generate more self noise. So the simpler your setup is, the cleaner and crisper your audio is going to be. Well, that's gonna do it here for me today. Hey, don't forget to go check out my friend's channel over at Mobile Video Editing. He's got a lot of great stuff over there. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, hit the button below. If you found any of this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And until next time, well, you know what I'm gonna say. Wear that sunblock and it's hot, so at least an SPF of 30. And if you're sweating profusely or swimming, reapply after two hours. This could save your life one day.